Teratech is a German company that was focused on making sound cards back in the 90s. This is the review of one of their cards. The only thing that gave me some idea what card this might be was Teratech logo. After some web search I found out it's probably Teratech Maestro 16. Cards got a crystal main chip that takes care of DSP and Yamaha OPL chip for FM. There's even wavetable version of this card. But I've got only a FM version and since it supports Yamaha OPL chip, I wonder how does it compare to other cards with the same chip. Standard Wave Blaster header is located at the top of the card. And as it was pretty normal back in the 90s, there's even CD interface. I downloaded drivers from Teratech website, which are still kept there. And that's quite nice because sometimes it's almost impossible to find drivers for an old sound card. There are two driver versions. First one for crystal chip, which is what I've got, and the second one for analog devices chip. Before you run the installation program, make sure you've set up all the jumpers right. There are jumpers for MIDI and for Sound Blaster based input output. It's quite easy to set up the card, just unpack the drivers for Windows 3. There are two disks and two possible ways to install the drivers. Either you can unpack all archives into one folder, which is easy way, or you can run installation program. Well, running installation program is easy for sure. But if you wanted to install both disks, you need to put them on actual disks or CDs. After you're done, run config to set up IRQ, DMA, etc. It added some lines to config this by itself, and during the next start, it initialized Sound Driver. There are some tools you can find useful some kind of Sound Blaster 16, Sound Blaster Pro, and Windows Sound System emulation. There's a mixer program to adjust volume right away and mix set to adjust volume during startup. If you want, you can adjust volume with this volume wheel on the backplate, right next to the game port, mic and line in. The volume wheel only works if the amplifier is enabled by this set of jumpers. Otherwise, the speaker output works like standard line out and you can adjust volume on your speakers or external amplifier. Bioforge works flawlessly as always, with sound effects and music set to Sound Blaster Pro. The same can be said about Doom, it just works. Why don't I use Sound Blaster 16 drivers instead of Pro, where there is Sound Blaster 16 emulation you ask? Well, because it's rubbish. It didn't work in any of the games I tried. And it actually broke some sound setups in a way that none of the Sound Blaster options worked at all. And what about Sound Blaster Pro emulation then? 
Well, since every game worked with some blaster pro from the start, I don't see any use for this. Lots of games use this configuration utility and it works every time. What hell hole did that godless machine put me in this time? Looks like some kind of ship, but the floor is too steady. Probably wants me to jump overboard. And into what? A sea of razor blades? Painful, but not deadly. Cart uses a muscle PL3 chip, and even though I don't like FM, the music sounds quite good. A bit better than Sound Blaster 32's FM in my opinion. Again, I recorded just a signal and then boosted it by 12 dB. This time, I recorded a signal from DOS and Windows 98. Signal from Windows is a bit stronger, so the noise is apparent there. It's not horrible, but it's nothing to be happy about. While playing some game, you can barely hear the noise, so it's kind of fine. And this is how the OPL chip sounds.
And there you have it. It's perfectly capable DOS card that works in Windows 3, 95 and 98. There was no problem with compatibility whatsoever until I messed with its Sound Blaster 16 emulation. I'm not sure what's that for. You can connect Wavetable daughter boards through Wavetable header or some external sound module through MIDI port if you're tired of FM. The output wasn't that clear, but it was alright if you don't want to play your games or music too loud. It's not expensive, you can find it on eBay for about 20 quid or so. And that's the end of the video. See you a lot next time.